Okay. This bit. He made a chart. The incarceration rate of inmates incarcerated under state and federal jurisdiction per 100,000 population from 1925 to 2014. And he says that that point right there <laughs> is significant. <clears throat> and I've got to rewind. Uh, let's see, right about there, maybe. This is inmates per 100,000 population. You know, you can see when we went off of the Bretton Woods system that regardless of which one's male and which one's female, it exploded. And so there's something socially significant about using fiat currency, making it difficult for people to plan for the future, making it difficult for a whole class of people to get ahead. Uh, you know what that translates into for me? Mike, you, you know what that translates into for me? For me, having access to the, the big picture here. That translates into money and currency are the fallacy, the circle jerk. And again, just for you, Mike, I'm going to go over the fallacy thing again. Uh, ancient Greece or ancient Rome. They carried around dicks with wings on them. And that's what they called a fallacy. Because they thought it kept them safe. What is it these days that everyone thinks keeps them safe? Well, up until these days. This fallacy. This is your fallacy now. The almighty fucking dollar. It's just another fallacy. Since the time of the, the Romans or the Greeks, I don't remember which one it was. Maybe it's relevant or relative. Maybe. I'm guessing, yeah, it is. But right now, shouldn't be focused on history as far as the etymology of that origin. What we should be focused on is getting the fuck off of this fallacy system completely. Because what this says to me, as far as the big picture is concerned, is that these are nothing more than shackles keeping everyone from moving forward. Holding everyone back. Because once you put your attention and your energy into something other than yourself, other than your self-improvement, other than a code of honor, discipline, respect, self-control, etc. You know, there's more. There's a lot more. There's a lot more to that list. But let's just start with basics. Because it's time for the entire human species to go back to basics. And this is a lesson that humanity is going to learn the hard fucking way because you haven't listened to history. Absolutely fucking not. That's why it keeps repeating itself and oh yeah, you can downplay it and say, oh it rhymes a lot. Fuck off. I don't care what you have to say about it. It's the same old shit, but the only thing changing are the people dancing. Like Shakespeare said, Life is a play where the actor sings and struts his hour upon the stage and is then heard from no more. I might have uh, botched a few words in that, but here's another saying. We aren't measured by the, the accumulation of our wealth, but by the legacy we leave behind. And all these past civilizations 
from history have left behind the same legacy that America is going through right now. The legacy is simple. Currency and money, they're both the same thing. They're a fallacy. It's all in your head. You need to throw it the fuck away. What we need to do, holistically, and I'm not talking just about the human species. I'm talking about every species in existence. Because there's more than just humanity. And a lot of others have figured this shit out. But what everyone needs to do is to focus on resource management. You've got the technology to slap a barcode on a loaf of bread. Okay, fine. You, you go to the store, you pick up your loaf of bread that you want to eat. This is a very crude example, by the way. You ring it up in the register, the tracking that loaf of bread so that they can order to replace the stock. That's what they'll be doing at the store in this idea. This thought exercise. So just go along with it, okay? Let it go. Don't try to control it. You take that home. You use it for what you need to eat. And when you need more, you, you go back to the store and you get what you need. Now whether you go to the store each month or each week or each day... Totally your fucking choice. But then, like, you go to work. You do a job. What job are you doing? Let's take uh, my stepdad, for example. He works at the power company. He goes, he does his job. He, he uh, goes in and, and does what he does. And in the power company, they measure how much energy we're producing on the lines, how much energy needs to go to these places, uh, how much do we need to increase at this time and decrease at another. And they're measuring this, this weebly-wobbly chart all across the board. Okay. So he's doing his job. And he's, he's not getting money or anything for it because at the end of the day, he can go to the store and he can get that loaf of bread. And he rings it up at the register. And he brings it home to eat. What about the farmers? Same fucking deal. They're growing the food to meet the needs as it's needed. What about people driving and delivering same fucking deal is that damn simple get it into your fucking heads now start implementing it now or else here's the or else you humanity all of you will destroy yourselves just as the Greeks and the Romans destroyed themselves just as countless civilizations before you on this planet have destroyed themselves. This isn't the first time humanity has faced a global extinction event. This is about the tenth. Want to know? Just look at history. Look at unwritten history. Look at how the ancient Egyptians had fucking electricity. Look at the Baghdad battery. Look at the Antikythera mechanism. How it was a mechanical clock that calculated to within one degree of accuracy. Because, let's face it, when you're making a, a, a gear and a cog by hand, you're going to have a little bit of a leeway there. A little bit of margin for error. But they made it pretty damn accurate, didn't they? So you look at all these things that are markers. Look at the Mayans. They destroyed themselves. They poisoned their own water supply. How does that relate to you? What's this circle jerk fallacy doing to your water supply socially? Because in the previous charts, in the same video from Mike there, Gold and Silver with Mike Maloney, the biggest event in world history 
what the fuck happened in 1971. In that video, he goes through and he shows you the answer to that question. Oh, you little fuck. You little fucker. Fuck off. Little fucking bastards. Every summer with the little fucking roaches. So anyway, he shows the charts that tells all these uh, financial points where inflation and deflation played a part in the Civil War, uh, the Revolutionary War, World War One, World War Two. He sh he shows you those charts. So go watch. Go watch his video if you haven't already. Because he explains it. And all the evidence he's presenting, the only thing it tells me over the 39 minutes, 21 seconds that he's doing that video, the only thing it tells me is that this fallacy of money or currency is completely fucking stupid. Ancient Romans, ancient Greeks, the fucking countless civilizations have done this. It's been tried, executed, and it failed every fucking time. Every fucking time. The idea of money and currency has failed every time. Whether it was backed by gold, copper, silver, platinum, uranium. Whether it was backed by drugs. Whether it was a prison economy backed by tobacco and fucking coffee. They all fail because of the inherent greed that stems from a lack of control of the self. Because of the lack of honor inherent in the system. Because of the lack of respect in the system. And that's where that crime rate comes from. Because the assholes making the rules don't respect everyone who supports their existence. Because without the people that the uh, top 1% make their money off of, without the workers, the manager has no fucking job. Or a company. It's time for everyone to realize this. I know what the fuck's best. This ain't my first fucking go-around. That doesn't even count going backwards in time. And becoming the, the, the being you all called Zeus, Hercules, Odin, Thor, Krishna, Arjun. Arjun, you know, whatever his name was, I can't fucking remember. Buddha. It doesn't fucking matter right now because you aren't learning the fucking lessons humanity and here we are again only this time you're not gonna crucify me like you did last time you're not gonna kill me I have taken several precautions for that one I've got at least three different species who are protecting me from you, humanity. And the lesson I've been trying to teach you for centuries, fucking ages, multiple lifetimes, is the same damn lesson of honor, discipline, respect, self-control. You still haven't fucking learned. So go ahead. Because the, the timetable for me to delay the inevitable... It had an exponential decay factor on it. That was between 3 and 5 on the exponent. It's gone now. I can't do jack shit for you. Now... 
even if even if everyone was to just suddenly stop and do a 180 on this it still wouldn't stop what's coming and that that that's neither here nor there for me to control because someone else wanted my job you can thank your top point zero one percent they wanted my job they wanted to be in control of everything now look where it's got you all of you you're in the same damn boat together hmm I don't I don't know why I care honestly don't some part of me still gives a fuck I don't get it still some small part of me still fucking cares what happens it's probably because I want to preserve the planet itself it doesn't deserve to have you humans on it because you have no honor no discipline no respect no self-control that's been the core of every time I've been here in a new physical form that's been the core of everything don't believe me stop thinking that your synonyms are so damn important because they're not the lessons that Krishna Buddha Jesus fucking all of them the lessons that they taught they're all synonyms when are you fucking idiots gonna wake up yeah shit got lost in translation but there's no reason to build a fucking religion around anything I'm saying right now I hate religions devoting all of your attention and energy into something else aside from improving yourself with your own honor discipline respect self-control and so on and so forth you haven't even you haven't mastered the basics because you, you still have population crisis you, you still you still have massive wars because your population has become so large you can't sustain it unless you take from someone else you still haven't mastered the fucking basics I'm, I'm just I'm bewildered as to why I give a fuck to say anything I really am I don't fucking get it I'm trying to figure it out why do I give a fuck why do I give a fuck to tell you hey this is what you're doing wrong this is how to fix it and if you don't you're gonna destroy yourselves like you did nine times before nine fucking times before now humanity has wiped itself out in a global extinction event fuck honestly Phil I'm just pissing in the fucking wind right now so till next time, fuck off.